Hey guys, it's Brandy Tweedy with Tweedy Designs. I got so many requests on how to make the Red Bull cups that I had posted in the Glitter Chimp page that I decided to go ahead and make a tutorial. Um, bear with me, I'm not very good at showing people how to do things, especially with a camera involved. So if the camera shakes, it's a little bumpy just because I keep hitting my desk with my knee because it's in the most awkward spot. So I'm still working on getting things set up. But I wanted to show you how I make these. It's really simple. It took me a while to figure out, not gonna lie. But once I got the design figured out, it was perfect. So let's dive in. So I'm gonna be using a 20 ounce skinny from Hog and Rust-Oleum's Ink Blue spray paint. Some Krylon spray adhesive is what I found that works best for me. And Glitter Chimp Smurf is going to be the blue color. So I'm going to use Oracle 651. And this I already have my design cut out with the template. So I'm using some Easy Liner from uh, Walmart to transfer my design. Alright, so you notice the blue Cricut um, pad that's below. It's one of the self-healing mats. I use the grids on it to help me line up my cup and make sure it's on straight. So I'm just transferring everything to the easy liner and then I'm going to peel the backing off and show you exactly how to get the cup on it. So I'm just going to trim it first. It makes it a little easier to work with. The less vinyl or transfer tape that you have to work with, it's going to be a little bit easier. Right, so now I'm just gonna line it up with the grids and I actually noticed that my cup wasn't straight but I had to redo my cup anyways because I forgot to use a prep tumbler make sure you're using a prepped tumbler otherwise you're just not gonna have a good product so I'm just gonna roll the cup and I'm sorry I went off frame a little bit onto the vinyl and you want it to be completely covered that way none of the spray paint um, gets onto the other parts that are supposed to be silver so i seen that my lines weren't straight so i just take it back and fix it and it's so super simple so if you cut out this design and realize that you put it on there crooked it's not a big deal just recut it um, i didn't use any special vinyl this is just vinyl that i had um, extra from an order like last year so it worked just fine so you'll notice at the very top of the cup the vinyl um, on the tallest part of the design is not even on the cup because you want your design to flow off the cup that's how I see the Red Bull cup and that's just how I left the design so don't worry about the top part of it you're not gonna have anything there anyways so you just peel off the transfer tape I save it for later use and then I just tuck everything inside and once you have all of the edges smoothed down, you're ready to spray paint. Super simple. You want to cover the bottom as well so you don't get any blue on the bottom.
So once you have the bottom completely covered, you're going to spray paint the area that's exposed with the blue ink. And this, I have spray painted it. I've let it dry and then I've sprayed it with um, my spray adhesive. So now I'm just going to put the glitter over the part that was um, silver that we have spray painted. So you don't necessarily have to pat down your glitter, um, it's just something I chose. Now you just gotta let the adhesive dry. Um, I'm gonna get my glitter put away because I do not waste glitter trim glitter. It is the only glitter I use. They're amazing over there if you have not bought any of their glitter. <clears throat> Seriously, go check them out. Right now they have restocks every Friday and they sell out like hotcakes. Just go check them out. So we're gonna wait for everything to dry and we're gonna seal it um, very well. And we're just gonna pull the vinyl off. So I'm gonna peel off all the vinyl. It'll take you a minute to get it all off there because you kind of want to go slow. But I realized that while peeling off the vinyl, I did not grab the correct tumbler. My tumbler was not sanded and prepped. So you can see the blue coming up. I'm not very happy with myself at this point. So I go ahead and finish out this part of the video for you, but I actually did go ahead and redo a cup that and I made it work um, so it's a completely different cup towards the very end because I can't sell a bad product so if you are wanting to make a good quality product you really should sand and prep your tumbler accordingly there's tons of tutorials out there so just look at one and you know whenever I get a case of cups in I go ahead and sand them and wash them and just put them back in the box so that way I have everything ready to go. This one kind of slipped by me because I had just gotten a case so I dug it out, put it on the table and just kind of rolled with it. But on half of the cup it did come out pretty well and you'll see where you know it looks good. I salvaged it but just make sure that you're giving a good product to your customers.
So you can see I just put a little bit of Mod Podge on that spot, kind of drew a straight line, get it as straight as possible, and then we're just going to sprinkle some glitter on there. And I like to take my finger and just kind of pack it down to make sure it's on there and then tap all of the excess glitter off. And then we're going to take our sealer. So this step is very important because you want to seal it very well. So whatever sealer you have on hand, this is where you're going to do that. I would do two coats. So since everything is sealed and dry, we are ready for this step. Sorry the camera is so shaky. We are going to mask off all of the blue spots. And it's so simple how to do this. You just take some masking tape. It doesn't matter what size. And you're just going to cut around the blue spots and peel up the spot that's on the stainless steel. So just remember, on this, you don't have to be 100% um, perfect because you're not spraying any color that's going to bleed underneath the masking tape. You are just putting down a glitter with an adhesive. So you're really not going to have any paint like trying to seep behind anything. So you don't have to go crazy and be completely perfect at this. But just keep the lines as straight as possible is what I suggest.
So I'm going to fix that little corner piece. And um, now, once everything is pressed down and, you know, cut the way you'd like it, it's time to go ahead and spray some um, adhesive and your glitter. And there you see we have coated it. I have um, sealed it and let it dry very well. So you just peel it off and that reveals your blue and silver for your Red Bull design. It's very simple. Um, so at this point I make sure it's sealed very well and I would put two coats of epoxy and then in the next video we will do the decals and I'll show you exactly what I do. So thanks for watching. If you have any comments, questions, feel free to comment below or you can email us, whichever works for you. But thanks for watching my video and thank you for all of the positive responses.